Go ahead. Let's talk about the fact that I've, I've tried diff, I've tried ugly men, attractive men, tall men, short men. Try them all because I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's it's the men I'm choosing. Okay. I never forget. I chose an ugly nigga once upon a time, and he started to feel himself. He started to get beside himself and forget who the fuck he was. And I had to remind him, like, do you not realize that you're a foot? Look in the mirror and re- remind yourself who the fuck you are before you come acting like I'm on your ass. See, I Kiss was never, ass. yeah, I was never getting married. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told myself going never. forward, I'm not going forward. I will never date an unattractive man again. I will date who I really want, which is a we nice tall. Yeah. And I'm not gonna go into details of what I like, but y'all know off the pod. I'm gonna go for the man I really, really want because I'd rather it be a person that I really, really want do me how they do me than a person that don't. Not even, that's not even on my level. Do that to me. Oh, she belongs to the streets, fellas. What I always tell you guys, man, if a woman is on a podcast, she's for the streets, bro. Now, this chick just sat there and tell us she tried all different type of dudes. Fat, slim, short, tall, big, small, dark, light, whoever. She tried all the guys out there. Only to come to the conclusion that she rather get played by a player. Come on, man. You think these women out here looking for a good dude? Listen, fellas, man. Just be wise out here, bro. And always Remember, if you see a woman on a podcast chirping, she's for the streets. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Mayowa. Mayowa, how old are you? I am 32. 32, okay. (laughs) And what do you do? I am a business owner of seven years. I'm a lash instructor. Um, Yeah. Okay, all right. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Um, Definitely a great work ethic, consistent, um, a lover of art, whether it's like music, creativity, painting, Mm. anything. Okay. Um, Yeah, and someone that's just emotionally available. Okay. (laughs) And now what are some of your deal breakers? The only thing would be like a pessimist and cat owners. Mm. Okay. (laughs) All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Let's go ahead and go on over to these guys and see why they ended up popping. (laughs) Okay. Let's start right here. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, My name's Eric, Mm. and I am 38. Mm -hmm. And the reason I popped it is I don't like heavy eyelashes, Mm -hmm. and there's something (laughs) going on with, I feel like the left one is just so heavy, it's it's hard for you to keep your eyes open or something. Oh, okay. There's something... Yeah, so, okay. I, yeah, there's something going on. <laughs> hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, that's that was the, the the first thing that caught my eye. Okay. So, I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely. That's your that's your thing. <laughs> it's just a preference, you know. For sure, so, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so. And now, is um, Eric someone that's your type? I would say yes, because I, you're a Nigerian, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Shady, you speak, you speak Yoruba? Yep. Uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go over to our next okay. guy here. Absolutely. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Yeah, uh, Priest, 33. Hey, you look like a black Barbie doll. Thank you. I ain't got enough money to afford you. Woo! Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, I go broke. I go broke. And I have to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. Boy, I need four five jobs to make you happy. Boy, you is, yeah, you got some pretty toes too. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> and now I, I know y'all not gonna zoom in on the ah! ass. Okay. Boy, like a black barbie. And now Thank is you, Priest someone that. that's your type? I would say uh, yes. I love your style. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yo, you know what's funny about this? This guy clearly was not interested and he turned her down in a very subtle way where he didn't hurt her feelings. But women are in the comments thinking like, yo, this guy is self-aware. I respect his honesty. The guy clearly said that he is a comedian. When the chick walked out, the majority of dudes popped their balloon because they didn't find her to be attractive. When a man is really into a woman, he will never say he can't afford her. So ladies, if a man is telling you that he can't afford you, it's not because he can't afford you, it's pretty much because he don't want you. 
But these women are so superficial <laughs> that he actually believed him when the guy was clearly being funny. This right here is crazy, man. Ladies, y'all need to be a bit more self-aware out here, man. Y'all need to be a bit more self-aware out here, for real. They are predicting that 40% of women will be single by the year 2030. And don't come for me because these are scientific studies. As in single, never been married, and never had kids. And honestly, I am not even surprised by this study at all. We have normalized hookup culture, and most people are on dating apps just for an ego boost and not to find actual love. Let's not forget how social media has truly made a negative impact in the dating world. It's over for you thoughts. It's over. It, it, it ain't that time. It's over for y'all. The other thoughts made it bad for you. Our love story, I love that you think it's so great. It started out horrible. Tell me. I dated the backup to piss him off. Wait, so was he trying to casually date and you were all oh, in? Oh, yeah, girl. Anyways, long story short, it wasn't that cute of a relationship at first. I hated oh. him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off, which oh, worked. Oh, yes. He was like, like, that'll do it. He was the bad boy, too. Like, Matthew's so sweet and Southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the, the backup was... The complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it, it upset him. So they lived in the same dorm because athletes lived in the same dorm, and he would see my car there. And so at one point, he, like, waited and fought and followed me out and got in my car and wouldn't get out. Oh. And he was like, like, this is so hot. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> working. Yeah. I was, get out of my car, and he was like, I don't, he's not right for you. And I was like, who, you, what? you can't tell me that. For every man, there's a woman. And for every dummy, there's a dummy. <laughs> Damn, Maddie. Look, here's the thing, fellas. This is a simple case of a nice guy trying to save a bird. And I keep telling you all, bro, if a woman is on a podcast, she's a bop. It's proven. Podcast is the outlet for birds. This is where birds go and chirp, okay? Now, here's the reality of this situation. This is a situation where Maddie was a nice guy and he saved the bird who was really chasing the bad boy. Now, the problem is when your sucker dudes marry these birds, these birds will find a way to embarrass you. All. And that's why she felt comfortable sharing this to the world. Because in her mind, in her real true hearts of hearts she really want to be with the bad boy and she really want to be back in the streets but because maddie the nice guy who chose to be a sucker and try to wife her up try to save her from the streets she's gonna torture him mentally that's why she's on this podcast sharing this information fellas y'all can't save a bird Whenever a sucker dude try to put a bird in a cage, a bird will make that man life a living hell, bro. She will embarrass you every chance she gets because she never respected you in the first place. Just look at the way she spoke about the dude who she cheated on him with. <laughs> and she said it so casually. Fellas, y'all got to stop, man. And Maddie, you really need to focus on yourself, bro. Have some self-respect, bro, and let go this bird. This right here is sad, man. Before you guys leave, let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the SDC fam. And if you guys appreciated the content, go ahead and show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so for your boy right now. Go ahead. Like, cover your breasts a bit more when you're taking pictures. <laughs> just a bit, just a bit. You can still be I, doing I, your project. What if he said, that's his only requirement, just to cover your breasts a little bit more. Would you do it? He's your perfect man. I don't know. It's a really hard question. You're not willing to compromise on a relationship. I've known these longer, guys. I've known these longer. It's a really hard question. I don't know. I have to think about it. But, but why, why do you have them on um, show so much? Because I like them. Because I live for me. I don't, do you understand why? That's my point. But, but you know it, that they're there anyway. No, but I just like how I look. But is it attention you're looking? I'm not, I, I don't care about men. I haven't actually dated a man in four years. I don't think it's bad, by I've the way. If she women. wants to show, but yeah, I'm just saying when it comes to... I don't date, I actually don't date men, so it's definitely not Oh, cool are them. you bisexual? I, yeah, I, I've been dating girls for four years. Oh. I don't actually care about... Oh, okay. So it's not... If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga?
you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.